Hey guys, and welcome back to RuneScape, where today we are going to be doing uh, a requirement for the completionist cape, actually, but also something that helps us out with training, mining, and smithing. And that would be the Doric and Boric tasks after the What's Mine is Yours quest. Although there is one of them we can't do yet because you have to have level 75 smithing for one of them. But we can do the rest, and it'll still give us some nice bonuses. But first of all, I'm going to get my on amulet back. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Hello, traveler. Um, I lost an item. item? Thankfully. Convenient how they always find it. Did I ever gain the XP from it? Ah, oh, I did. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and wear that for now, cause why not? Um, before we start, though, I did gain a few levels. I think since the previous episode, I know I gained an attack and strength. I know I gained one mining level, one fishing level, and I don't know if there's anything else I gained. Probably a summoning level. Yeah, I did gain one yesterday. Uh, I don't know about anything other than that. There may be, but I don't remember. I'm really struggling to motivate myself to mine, so I'm probably just going to wait for the Clan Citadel reset tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. I need to double check. It's important because this uh, bonus XP thing ends on Sunday, so I don't want to wait too long. If I have to force myself to just mine mithril or granite or something, I will, but I don't really want to. It's really boring. As for fishing, I got a hard clue scroll that requires the fishing guild, and 68 fishing is required for the... So, I'm working on that now. I also got a golden fish egg for the leaping trout. So, once I actually build a diving suit, we'll actually go look at my... Um, one single fish swimming around. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk to Dork. Hello, traveler. What brings you to my humble smithy? Uh, do you have any more smithing tasks for me? I do, actually, and I bet it would be right up your street. But before I let you loose on our customers, I have some very specific rules. I'm listening. You must smith the items yourself. I don't want you heading to the Grand Exchange or buying them from other people. We need to guarantee a top quality service, and that means only selling products made by our own hands. Do you understand? Take all the items myself. Got it. Now, are you ready for your first order? Sure. Sten at the Artisan's Workshop has made a special request. He works on the tracks in the basement, but lately health and safety have been poking around, saying the place doesn't meet their standards. Anyway, as much as I'd like to argue that point with them, it's better just to keep them happy. If you can make five bronze full helms, Sten will reward you for your time. All right, so yeah. I was kind of worried we'd done some of these and I'd forgotten, but no, we had not. It's good stuff. Okay, so bronze, full helm. That would be this thing. Doesn't look anything like full helms used to look like. I miss the old full helm design. Oh well. Do -do 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 -do. I already bought all the items we should need for this, I think. Except, of course, for the one we can't do. Which we gotta remember that, because... Yeah, we do have to do that eventually. That'll be the last one. But, yeah, this is a completionist cape requirement. So, we've only got one of those so far. And, uh, I forget what it was. I just looked at it. What is it? Uh, not achievements, completionist. Duh, I was already on it. Uh, yeah, the stronghold of security. We've not done the stronghold of player safety. We might have to do that soon. I don't know what that's about. I mean, I know what it's about, but I don't know why we haven't done it. I have sworn we would have done it at some point. But maybe we did some of it, but not all of it. I don't know. Point is, you know, these are nice little things to get out of the way on these non-quest episodes. Whoops. Crazy. Where is the Artisan's Workshop? Back here? Yeah, they've kind of moved it. Didn't it used to be a little bit less behind this? I don't know. Alright, so the guy on the tracks downstairs starts with an S. That's all I can remember. Uh, where? There's the stairs. Smith Ancestor. Weren't those things that you have to kill? I seem to remember that being a thing. Oh. Run away! I don't have a weapon! Yeah. Alright, Sten. Yeah, that's him. Now then, lad. 
They don't usually send someone of your skill down here. You might be better suited to work. Uh, Dork sent me to here to help. You not voiced for this part? Or are you gonna interrupt me? Okay, well anyway. Good stuff. Do you have the bronze full helms I asked for? Yes, I have them right here. Just in time, too. Health and safety has been sniffing around something rotten. It'll be good to get them off my back at last. No problem. Can I have my reward now? Dork said you'd have something. Reward? You think just like that I'd reward you? We're dwarfs. If we just needed some armor, do you not think we would have made it ourselves? Put it like that. The reason you're here is because we need some track, lay track slaying. Um... York said he'd provide the labor in return for some supplies. Guess I don't have a choice. That's the spirit. If you want that reward you adventurers love so much, you'll get to work and lay me five yards of bronze track. Talk to me again once you've finished. I'm clearing out my bank, so... That's why that random thing is uh, selling. Okay, I don't really remember how you lay tracks, but... Obviously, take that, smith this... Oh gosh, that's right, there was this whole set, wasn't there? Bronze tie plus bronze track 80%. Bronze track 80% is a joint. 40% is rails and base plate. Alright, so we make 14 of these, I guess. Yeah. It seems like it's kind of smart because it's only having me make 14. Ah, oh, it's been a long time. I don't know, did I only need to make five of these or something? I forget what he said. I don't care. We're making 14. Just the way things go. We need the smithing experience anyway. Look at that again. 0.6 bonus. Very nice. Alrighty. So yeah. Once this is done, we will be a lot closer to getting 75 smithing as well because all these things are going to give us... Good experience for what the heck? Oh right, I have this thing in the way. But a uh, good experience for mining and smithing. So, got that to look forward to. I'm get, definitely gaining at least one level in both of those skills today from this. Very glad I realized this thing existed. Not gonna lie, it saves me a lot of effort towards my Priftinus goals. All right. Well, anyway, we made 13 of these, which means. I guess that we can just toss a bronze rail. Whoops. Alrighty. Oh, right, duh, you have to do it here. I remember doing this long, long ago as a way of free smithing training. Not fast training, but it is completely and totally free, so that was nice. I wish all skills had something like this. Herb Lord doesn't. What else doesn't? I don't... Uh, I guess crafting does, but it's so high level in Perfdenis, I think. The, um, ARPs? Yeah. I mean, if you have to get level 70-something before you get the free training method, it hardly even counts. Alright, well anyway, so for the next percentage, we need spikes. Take this again, thank you. And we want to make 13 spikes. 13, please, not 14. Alright, getting to work on spikes, yay, this is so exciting! Ugh. But yeah, hopefully by the time next episode rolls around, I will at least have mining 65, and maybe even fishing 68. I might end up using a lot of my bonus experience on that goal instead. That would be kind of sad, but... You know, whatever. As long as we get both goals, it doesn't matter how we do it. Whether I do it the way I planned or not. Alright, so we want this. Yes. There's got to be a better way for them to make this work. Just so boring. Do -do 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 -do. I do like how the graphics barely change. It just rotates. Flips horizontally, really. Not even a rotation. Ugh, so boring. Alright, well, anyway. What is the last update for this month? Is there a quest coming out this month, I think? I think there might be. I've not really paid attention to this month's update, but I think there is something good happening coming up 
I don't know if it'll be anything we can do, but definitely with my levels getting higher, we're getting closer and closer to the point of me being able to actually do quests when they come out, which would be nice. We'll probably switch up how I plan things out whenever it comes to that. All right. Because it would always be nice to do a quest the week it comes out. But let me find the month ahead, February. Uh, quest. All right. A secret fifth age quest. That's part of a plotline that hasn't been explored in many years. Huh. Yeah, that's happening. That's basically... It's going to be a quest. We don't know what it is, except that it's set in the past. So that's interesting. We're in the sixth age now. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping... I mean, since it is building off of an ancient quest, I assume... They say plotline, but I would assume that would have to be part of a quest. But if it's building off of that, maybe it'll be actually of a level we can do, in which case I will probably be releasing a playthrough of it. Like a day or two after it comes out. Who knows? All I have to do is find the time to do it. Alright. And then, of course, um... I don't know what's the week after that, but... Oh wait, no, that... The week after that is whenever they, uh... Do all the things from the game jam that they've announced. The Lumbridge, um, crater rework, the skilling pets, I think having a few of the outfits, the skilling outfits obtainable. Not the skilling pets, but some random pets of putting in them at menu. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean to say. Okay, well anyway, let's get this. I'm making 14 of them, I guess, but it doesn't matter. That's all happening on the 7th, and it'll be awesome. I'm really looking forward to the next two updates, I guess, which is kind of out of nowhere. Oh, look at that. We sold an anti-poison that was in my bank for some reason. I mean, really, I could just be tossing these items, but, you know, I try to sell them. Make somebody happy on the Grand Exchange when they get to buy one. Because a lot of these things are things you just can't really buy without raising the price up really high. It sucks. It really does. So I had to do a leaping um, something salmon, I think, task. And they make you turn in the fish, which is ridiculous because the entire point of barbarian fishing is that you don't keep the fish and bank them. So that's just ridiculous. So I just paid a ridiculous price for the fish on the Grand Exchange and just tossed them like you're supposed to. Yeah, they should really revise those tasks because I know there's ones for each of the leaping type of fish it's just plus you know catching them just sucks because you catch multiple types and ugh not an ideal system all right so I guess we just deposit it then and then it'll go okay is that it okay. yeah Five yards. I did, didn't I? Oh. All right. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Did I do it wrong somehow? Ugh, I'm gonna have to make five more of these things. Why would there be two ways to do it? Is there a different level requirement for laying it than depositing it? Like, what the heck? If this... Ugh. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed because I'm wasting your guys' time, and if this doesn't work, then I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I vaguely remember that being a thing, but... Why? Just let us lay the dang things already. Come on. Okay, well, at least I'm only making five this time. Not trying to be stupid and make a whole bunch. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Anyway, what else do we get? I don't think there's really much else going on in RuneScape. There was a whole lot of cool things. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta wait for him to wait. What am I doing out? I need the thing. This thing. Give me five. You? I guess I could just make five of the next one as well. Maybe five of the next one after that? I don't know. I haven't counted. I'm just doing things as they come. Alright. Thank you for the spikes. Thank you for the joints. And yeah, we can make another one after that. It'll be great. Then from there, we uh, do a thing. I'm a bit tired today. I don't so, ugh. All right, I think that's all the things we need to. So we'll be able to just go straight to the completion of this. Uh, we're making good progress on these fabric scrap things. I got the set of two um, reward box things. So yeah, we're getting there. See, we're at that. We're at the halfway point basically, and we got uh, you know a few more days. So. I might have to do every day to 100% to get the whole thing done, but, you know, whatever. We'll try it out. I think we'll be one day ahead in the long run if I do that. Um, I also almost have enough... Okay, what the heck? Oh, pfft. yeah, I haven't made it yet, duh. Um, I also have almost enough, uh... What you call it? Um, Dungeoneering tokens to get... The next reward that I want. I think the Charming Imp was the one I was going for. Uh, because I got some more reward boxes. I think what I've realized is that they've just been doing so many Treasure Hunter events that it's been actually really hard to get the normal Treasure Hunter rewards. I actually got the Blacksmith Helmet today. And I think I got something like that on my main account. I got like the Nimble outfit piece or something. And, you know, it's just they've been doing so many events back to back. Lately, every time I play, there's an event going on that it's actually been almost impossible to get the rewards that I actually want. It's sad. It's like, oh, we're going to give you a ton of XP, but you can't get the skilling outfits. You can't get the items you want. You can't get the dungeoneering tokens. You can't get anything. You can only get these stupid event items. This is real. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm in there now. All right. Well, I did it. I did it correctly this time. That was a huge waste of time. We don't usually send someone to I really thought this would go quick. Okay, excellent work there. Just exquisite. I suppose you'll be wanting a reward for that now? Yes, please. Here you go, then. Yep, 250 smithing experience, and my Gophanon amulet has 250 char 750 charges. Right, so that was not very much, and it took a lot of time. I was expecting... Jeez, I mean, I guess I screwed up and wasted a whole lot of time on that. Oh well, I don't think any of the others will take that long, hopefully. Uh, they might require more running around, though, so who knows. We'll find out. We will see. Where am I? Why am I in Edgeville? I always go to the wrong place when I'm going to Falador. I don't know why, but that Falador lodestone, I just automatically click something else. Yep, maple shield bows, getting rid of those. Hanging on to the short bows, though, because those are good to disassemble for invention. They give the components needed for uh, making whatchamacallits, uh, siphons. Although probably a very rare chance, considering they're just maple, but still. All right, Doric. Traveler. What brings you? You have any more smithing tasks? How would you like to help Burthorpe take the fight to the trolls and stop them killing any more innocents? Um, saving lives is what I do. That's the attitude to have. I know you have history with them, so I thought, who better than you? So what do I need to do? Commander Denolf is looking to lead another assault on the trolls to drive them back from Burthorpe. Right. The commander has asked us to provide some equipment that his troops need. Three bronze plate bodies and three bronze kite shields. I can do that. Good. If you do well, Commander Denholf will consider setting up a regular order with us. Good stuff. Repeat customers are the best customers. All right. Well, anyway, let's... Head on over here. There is a smithing area over here near a bank, so and take care of all our smithing needs. Which I already forget what he wanted. It was 
bronze this and bronze that. Plate bodies and kite shields, okay. They want the good stuff. Okay, where is the bank? It's up here. Yeah, I guess we're not gonna get this whole thing done today. That sucks. But we'll at least to get through it. And, uh, yeah, ooh, gourmet ampling. I'll catch him, why not? There we go. I'm catching lots of ampling. I can catch uh, ninja amplings now. It's very nice. All right, bank. Give me access to your bars. Thank you. Thing is that I think all of these little tasks you give have a second part to them beyond just providing the items. Unfortunately. All right, so kite shields and plate bodies. Three of each. There we go. Oh, look at all that smithing experience we're getting. We're gonna be leveled up in no time. Yeah, not really. Okay, uh, kite shields. That's a kite shield, apparently. How things have changed. There we go. I have two extra bars for some reason. That's about, I guess you need it for something else. All right, so we need to go talk to Commander Dinulth, which I'm not 100% certain where he is. Is he the guy over here? Yeah, he's the guy we talked to previously. Troll Stronghold. Hello. Welcome back, friend. I have your order. You have my armor. Hand it over. Let me look at it. Yes, I have them here. Perfect. I'll get one of the men to distribute these to the troops, and we'll drive those trolls back. It's weird how some parts of this are voiced and some aren't. I guess some of the voice actors just weren't available. You can tell Doric he has an order from me. Yay. Uh -oh. Commander, we've got a problem. The trolls took out one of our cannons. This is all we need. Without the cannon, we don't have the cover we need to advance on their position. Uh-oh. What should I do? The barrel's ruined. Nothing. Go back to your post. Yes, Commander. Yeah, they can just teleport you, right however, to however, I have another task. We need the cannon barrel repaired. Head back to Doric. He'll know how to fix it. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. I knew this was coming. You can't fool me with your simple order for you. Okay, I'm not even saying your name. Fairweather. Isn't there a Fairweather near the... Uh, isn't she the one that you hand in your chronicles to? Hmm. Must be related. But her name's a lot better than your name. That is just a nonsensical smattering of vowels with an F. It's a wolf. Okay, well, anyway, let's... All right, the door's right here. All right, dork, do you know how to fix this stupid cannon? Hello, traveler. What brings you? Um, I guess I just do this option. Dork, do you know how to repair a cannon barrel? Aye, with two bronze bars and an anvil, I can't see any problem fixing one up. Good, because we need to fix one up for Denolth right away. Can you show me how? Of course I can, my little apprentice. And that's how you fix one up. Make sure to use my anvil, though. It's designed especially to deal with these unusual orders. Thanks, Doric. All right. Yep, yep. Specifically because they didn't want to have you get in cannon part as an option anywhere else. There we go. All right, now we go back to him. Luckily, it's not a very far run. Then we'll be done with that one. Much easier, kind of, than the other one, because there's less mistakes possible. All right, let's get on up here. This sucks, though, because the mining ones are the ones I wanted to do, and we're not even going to get to them today. Oh, well. At least we're getting smithing experience. What are you doing? Old tax. I don't understand the summoning people's names. Like, where did they come from? Why is it a thing? Oh well. Hello. Welcome back, friend. Hey, you wanted me to fix cannon? Yes. The cannon in the watchtower to the north of here needs repairing. Okay. I have the part here. Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah, skip through that. Okay, the watchtower to the north is. I think this is the watchtower. I mean, 
usually when you think of a watchtower, you don't think of something quite so wide, but short and wide, really. It's barely taller than the mountain thing. Oh well. Get on up to the top where the cannons would be. Hello, Eorik. Which one's broken? None of them are broken. That one's broken. Whoa. <laughs> I'm, whoa. I'm going crazy over there. Ease, I was hyperactive. Alright, well let's go tell him about it. Good stuff, good stuff. Yep, yep. Stone staircase. These trolls don't really seem that dangerous. I wonder if that's gonna be what the... No wait, that's not a 5th age quest line anyway. I really don't know what the quest is gonna be, but it's only a few days away, whatever it is. Oh wait, I'm running right past him. Good job, me. Get back here. All right. Hello. Welcome back, friend. I fixed the cannon. Thank you for your assistance with the trolls. We can finally work on driving them away from town again. Take this as a reward. Yay! More stuff. It's kind of weird how all the people in this little quest thing know how to charge your Gothenon amulet, but nobody else in the world does. Ah, whatever. Who cares? A little bit of smithing experience, but you know, we gotta get to the harder ones before we start getting any serious gains. We'll get there. We will get there. Such a long run. So boring. Alright, what is the next one? Warhammers and longswords. Okay. Oh gosh, it's gonna be... Goblins! Why the goblins? Can we get through here, please? Oh, the gate's closed. Whatever, I'll open the gate. Stupid gate. All right, Doric. Hello, traveler. What brings you? Have any more? And now that you mention it, I might. I've got an extra special customer you can have the pleasure of dealing with. Sure. That sounds ominous. The generals from the Goblin Village north of here have made it known that they would like to purchase some weapons from us. Head up there and find out what they want. Honestly, I'm surprised he's willing to deal with them. Um, if I have to... Remember, good customer service! Alrighty. Yep, yep. I'm guessing we have to find out what they want before we make it, otherwise it might not count. Where is this Goblin Village, anyway? Up here. I wonder if they'll ever clean up the Goblin Village, because they got all this bando stuff. <laughs> like having his dead body here still. Kinda weird how some gods turn to stone and some don't. Who knows? I don't think Bandos didn't. It's like a dead rotting body still. <laughs> oh no, petrified, okay. Well, anyway. I hear you wanted some weapons from Dork? Ooh, Doric, is he tasty? No, idiot, he's the little dwarf man who make the pointy weapons, pokey weapons. He make the pokey weapons? How does he do that? He does the bish bash with his hammer to make them. Seems silly to me, why not just kill someone and take them? Excuse me, I was told you might want to order some weapons? They do? I guess goblins could do with more things to kill people with? Yes, I'd like iron longswords. You stupid goblin, iron warhammers are what we need for fighting. No, you want a big stabber to swing around. Big hammer to bash people with, you mean? Stop arguing, what would you like to order? Long swords, warhammers. A wart face don't know what he's talking about. Let Bent Nose talk to smell a human in peace. Oh my gosh. Enough, how about I get you five iron long swords and five iron warhammers to keep you both happy? That good plan, human, even if Bent knows, don't know what he's talking about. Alright, so there we go. Now we have the actual order, I guess. And now we can go make it. Um, well, I guess we gotta go to a bank, so we'd just head on down to Edgeville real quick. Bank there, and then head back to Falador. I sp well, no, there's the thing in Edgeville, isn't there? So we'll just do the whole thing in Edgeville real quick. All right, luckily I do have iron bars. Oh, hopefully there's no complications with this one. Probably, right? Maybe not, though. 
Maybe they get lazy with the higher level ones. All right, well, anyway, we're gonna grab all these iron bars. A worryingly large amount of them, but they might not all be used in this one. Who knows? Oh, uh, wait, no. Oh, there's no... I thought there was an anvil in this one. But I guess I imagined it. Oh, well, let's head down to Thaldor then. Who cares? It's on the way. We can do it. All right. The next one after this is burial armor. Yeah, I'm definitely going to save that for later, sadly. Oh, well. At least we got some of these out of the way. I just got to remember the progress we've made on this. I don't know. It might be a while until we get back to it, or we might get back to it next episode. I have no clue whatsoever. All right. So, Iron Long Sword, which looks like this. Five, thank you. There you go. Ah, well. 23 fabric scraps. I'm so tired of these events where you get these things. At least they go in the currency pouch now. But the only thing is when you turn it in, then it quits going in the currency pouch until you do it again. It's very tiresome. All right, five of these, please. How can I only make five of those? How many bars do they take? Holy cow. Three, huh? Yeah, that, that is all the iron bars, so there can be no complications. Maybe just arguing, probably. We have that to look forward to. Yay! Alright. There is a bear. The bear graphics are just so ridiculously outdated. They just look so awkward running around with their terrible graphics. What are you doing? Huh. I don't know. Kind of weird. Let's get in this door. Ready? General, what's your face? Ah! You have our weapons? Goblins getting itchy for killing. Yes. Um. Yes, I have them right here. Human make goblins happy with their gift. Actually, you still have to pay? Aha, silly human. No, I remember you definitely saying these were gifts for us. I didn't say that. Pay up now before I take these weapons back and use them against you. Big human have bad attitude. Look like we not recommend dorks to other goblin clans now. Please don't do that. Though you let us keep them? Okay, but surely there is something you could give me in return. Human make goblins happy, so we give you useless junk as reward. Yay, smithing experience, 750, and more charges. The charges are basically just bonus experience. Alrighty. I don't know why they bothered just making them like that. I think we can just do this and then check it. Um, ah, oh, we can put it into either skill, though. Um, obviously, I want it in... I don't know. I'll think about it. I thought it would do both, but I guess it's either or. It's a tough choice. Uh, that's why they do it. It's just an easier way of not having dialogue boxes every time, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that is the start of Dorks and Borks tasks. We will hopefully get through the rest of them a little bit faster than this in the future, because, like I said, it is a completion escape requirement, so doing it does matter beyond getting the mining and smithing experience. It's actually one of the only ones we can do right now in any reasonable time frame. Might be able to do this one. Big Chinchampa. I don't know. But I won't be too eager to do that, I guess. Whatever. We'll find out. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys later.